We're sitting down with Vader's Listener. Guys, why don't you introduce yourself? What's up? I'm Sevi. I'm a guitarist for Vader's Listener. Uh, I'm Jay Queen. I'm the vocalist. I'm Billy Tarasoff. I'm the other guitar player. I'm Jordan Hessler. I play bass. I'm Austin. I play drums. Well done, guys. Thanks for sitting down with us, uh, 661 District. So, Vader's Listener. Man, what's up with the band name? Is it symbolic? Metaphoric? Actually literal? What is it? It's, uh... When going into creating this name, coming up with a name, we want it to be creative and meaningful. So, so with Beta, Beta is a collection of hymns and poems by the Aryan race. And ancient Aryan race. Ancient, not, not yeah, racist. Not, not, yeah, we're not racist. <laughs> good, good, good catch. But uh, and the listener part is the is the creative portion of the name. So what we wanted to do was make Beta a person. So that's why the name's called Veda's Listener. Okay, so there's like a storyline that's already being built up. Yeah. Right from the beginning. Yeah, if you think about it, we're, we're a concept band. Okay. So you guys used to be Save Your Sorrows. What happened to cause a name change? You, want, you guys want to take it? I don't want to do it. Talk, I want to talk about um, it the time. Well, I mean, I think it kind of just, when we lost the member, we went through a bunch of member changes since from, from when we first started. Um, if you had some members leave, some, you know, core members, and, yeah, and even, like, after, you know, after, once we got to, like, last summer, we just started, we kind of decided we were just kind of getting bored of our music, we could tell our fans were kind of getting bored of our music and what we were doing with it, we were writing a lot slower, and just, it just didn't seem as meaningful, so we just kind of wanted, we kind of wanted to just kind of raise the bar a little bit for ourselves, kind of make to change our sound a little bit, that's why we're a lot more, we're, a lot, we're definitely a lot more technical now with our music. Um, but we're hoping a lot more tight um, when we play, and uh, that was another problem we kind of had. Um, so we kind of just, we kind of went in and we just wanted a fresh start, basically. So we just kind of, we, we were just like, you know what, you know, save your soul. We, first of all, we thought it sounded kind of childish by the time we got into it. And, right. you know, we just decided we just wanted a fresh start, so let's just start. We, you know, we added Sebi here. We just, we, you know, started our core lineup, and we just kind of wanted to just wanted to fresh start. We changed the name. So there's a clearly defined different direction with yeah, Vader's no, listener. No one's gonna be like, oh, they sound like Saber Sons. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are obviously driven to play heavy music. Why is that? You, it's just it's just what we love. It's what we love to do. We're trying to keep it alive and uh, be not too processed, like especially in the studio. Like I just found out the other day that a lot of bands are having like fake bass and guitar in the studio because it sounds so much cleaner for the album, and it's like I, I'm not really, I'm not really for that. So we're trying to keep the metal alive and musicianship alive, being a good musician and still and still playing metal. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, and I think it has to deal with the fact that for all of us, it, it's a different way to express our, our emotions and our feelings in, in life, in our situations, anything we see as a lyricist, as a vocalist, it's especially very, it's important to me as I'm able to express myself on that level yeah. of heavy music. Like Austin said, when he has a bad day, he just takes it on the drums. Yeah, yeah I just like beating things. So <laughs> when we play this kind of music, it's a lot easier to express how I'm feeling. So let's get into the, the anatomy of the sound. How long have you guys been playing music as a band and an individual? Uh, as a band, we've been playing for about like two and a half years, I'd say. Um, for me, individually, it's been around six years. I started out with a guitar for around four years, and then I was not good at that after I see, seen Billy play. I was like, done with that. Yeah, I'll bow out <laughs> gracefully. And then, so I just stuck with vocals. I was like, I can do this. I'm decent enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so we started the band like three years ago, and then uh, I started playing guitar just like him. Like I started playing guitar. I played guitar for like six years before we started the band. Um, and then you know we didn't want to have three guitars. We still needed a bassist, and uh, I sucked. So I kind of just segued into bass and um, kind of fell in love with it since then. I'm, I like it a lot, so you know, I'm, I'm not I don't regret it one bit. Sebi, uh, I've been a guitarist for a serious guitarist probably for about seven eight years now. I, uh, I graduated Musicians Institute in, down in Hollywood. That was a really cool experience. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and 
right now I'm actually studying jazz, jazz music to better my musicianship. A few guys are. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Billy's actually in the jazz band with me in the ABC, and uh, so it's uh, constant too. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I've actually been doing the whole music thing since I was in elementary school. I started out on trumpet, and that just didn't work out for me. And I honestly don't know how I got into drums, but it happened, and I'm pretty happy that I made that decision. And uh, all the way up to now, it's been about nine years, roughly, so. Cool. Billy? I've been uh, playing guitar for about eight years now. Um, I, I saw a movie, uh, Tenacious Steve and Pick a Destiny, and it made me like, want to pick up a guitar. <laughs> it just made me want to pick up a guitar and play it. So once I did it, I fell in love with it. So. Right on. Thanks, Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> um, so besides Jack Black, um, who would you consider your influences? Um, well, for me, one of my well, band-wise or art? Or uh, either. Yeah. Musician. As far as behind your music. Behind like my playing, mine will always go back to like the originals, like Jimi Hendrix, um, Randy Rhodes, definitely, um, Kirk Hammond, Metallica. Right. Seven. Yeah, for my influences, I, I'm a big uh, Zach Wild fan and, uh, and Dimebag Daryl fan. He's like one of my favorite guitar players, metal guitar players, and uh, and I like all types of uh, guitar players, jazz guitar <coughs> players, Joe Pass and Pat Martino. Their like chops are ridiculous. And, um, but I'm an influenced by a whole type, but different types of music. You know? And uh, I try to incorporate that into my, my playing and my style. Right on. And I hope that shows. Yeah. Yeah, um, for me, I think a big, the big package, I think, has to be the Devil's Prada, especially with the, with the lyrics. There's, there's all these messages behind what he writes. Mm -hmm. And I just pick apart, pick them apart, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is awesome. So when it comes to like lyrically and vote not so much vocally, but all around, it's the, the big package. Right on. Yeah, but I've always, um, I mean, I've always been influenced by like, I mean, Green, Green Day is usually my biggest influence. I mean, I, even though we don't play that type of music, just have everything they've done and the whole concept <coughs> things kind of really influenced me and I think the band as a whole. Um, and then I also like, you know, in terms of heavier bands, I'm a huge Devil Wars Potter fan too. Um, I really like Between the Buried and Me and what they do instrumentally. Um, so I mean, I, I listen to you know pretty much any genre of music, um, and you know they all influence me in our way. So, Austin, what about you, Matt? Um, well, as Seve was saying, he said that he looks for different genres to kind of influence his guitar uh, writing, and I kind of do the same thing. You know, I'm a jazz fan as well. So, um, looking back at like Buddy Rich, jazz, that kind of jazz playing, he's he's amazing. And then up into the new age stuff, Matt Halpern from Periphery, and then Matt Grinder from Multiple Threat. They're one of my biggest influences, the technicality they use for the drums. is ridiculous, so I definitely, definitely look up to them. Well, you guys got any last closing statements? Any uh, information on maybe upcoming releases or anything? We're actually we're, uh, trying to record a, a four-song EP and get that out. Yeah. So we should be recording soon. an EP and we hope to get on iTunes and uh, hope to get hard copies. We can sell that. Um, follow us on Facebook because we have like 100 likes at the moment. Um, almost 200. Almost 200. Short we're short getting pretty tough. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so, you know, the, and, and we want to get our name out there, so. And right on. I think we're actually recording one song now. I think we're releasing as a demo. Just one song, the first song. Rap? Yeah. Where are you going to release it? Hmm? Where are you going to release it? Where are we oh, going to be able to see it? We're going to post it on our, uh, our band page. Okay. And uh, they'll probably be up for free download. Right on. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. I'm going to be there for uh, the Sumerian Battle of the Bands, and I'm at you guys. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.